a couple of local favorites. The crowd's going to be divided here. Sean Fitzgerald and Dana Rosenblatt. Let's look. It's time for Dana Rosenblatt to step up. The 21-year-old from Malden, Massachusetts has not been beaten. And fights like this against Terry Shea have been exciting, even though they've been dangerous and short, as this one was because of a cut he forced early in the fight. The question is, how will he perform against seasoned competition? Sean Fitzgerald plans to show him. Fitzgerald should be Rosenblatt's toughest opponent to date. Fitzgerald has gone 10 rounds. He did it in a 1992 victory over Peter Manfredo. Fitzgerald also says he learned a lot by losing this year to Roberto Duran and plans to apply those lessons here. And here's a look at Dana Rosenblatt. He really is a crowd favorite here, but tonight he's getting another guy from New England who happens to be the title holder here. Dana Rosenblatt's win over Nate Woods in his last fight, and here comes Sean Fitzgerald. And he is a guy who really feels like Zach Padilla we're talking about. Fitzgerald really feels he fights his best against the best as well. And he also feels that he brings the experience edge into this fight as well, Barry, and that he will give Dana Rosenblatt a come up in tonight. He's really been looking forward to this fight. He not only feels he can win the fight, he feels that Dana Rosenblatt can be had. He feels he can get him out of there. He says Dana Rosenblatt is a guy who I think can be hit. He says he brags about the fact that nobody's ever pushed him backwards. I'll push him backwards. And of course, after the fight with Duran, now this is a major test for him. He has to come out and get this victory here. Fitzgerald has to get back into the top circuit. He had a taste of it. He wants more. So I think this is going to be an entertaining fight, and I think this entire night is going to be entertaining. Let's get to the entertainment now with Michael Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to Foxwoods Resort Casino here in Southeast Connecticut, where tonight it's top-ranked boxing on ESPN, brought to you by the undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Bud Weiser. Proud to be your bud. All the bouts tonight are sanctioned by the Athletic Division of the Connecticut Department of Consumer Protection in association with Foxwood, Mashantucket, Pequot, Nation Combined Boxing Commission. Let's get things started, ladies and gentlemen, a very special 10-round bout. This will be for the vacant Foxwood New England Middleweight Championship. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, referee John Duke Lawson. Introducing first. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the gold trunks with white trim, he weighs in at 158 pounds. He's from Worcester, Massachusetts, and brings a professional record of 17 victories with 10 KOs. Only one defeat with two draws. Ladies and gentlemen, the Irish Express, Sean Fitzgerald. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the white trunks with light blue trim. Weighing in at 159 pounds from Malden, Massachusetts. His record, 15 and 0. 13 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated Dana Rosenblatt. All right, Dave, let's talk about the rules here in the state of Connecticut. And this is how they tee them up. The three knockdown rule is in effect. So is the standing eight count. The referee can stop the fight. Three judges score in a 10-point must system. The fighter can be saved by the bell in only the last round. So we are set to go as you take a look at Dana Rosenblatt. Family and friends in attendance as always, 21 years old. Again, Sean Fitzgerald. Only one loss between these two. That one loss coming at the hands of Roberto Duran dealt out to Sean Fitzgerald. Although Sean feels that that fight, maybe more than any, was a bigger learning process than any of the 18 wins. And we'll see how it affects him here and just what he got out of the Duran fight and also sparring with James Tony, which was a very revealing experience for him, too. He said in the Duran fight, he learned that he's got to be in a little better condition, pace himself more, and not run out of gas. I thought it was interesting he was talking about James Tony and, and the difference between a guy, by his own admission, like Sean Fitzgerald and James Tony. He said Tony, when he sparred him, would look in a mirror and still managed to avoid punches. And Sean Fitzgerald said, how could he do that and not even look at me? And he was looking at himself in the mirror, and maybe working on a manicure of some kind. <laughs> Well, he's trying something different tonight, too. And classically, you fight a southpaw with the right hand leads and, of course, staying outside of his right foot. But 
He's going to try to get some jabs in there. He thinks there's a new way to attack the southpaw stance. He said that was really his only concern, was fighting a softball and trying to keep reminding himself to get that left foot outside. And not be so preoccupied with that that you forget to throw the punch. He said he looked at a couple of Dana Rosenblatt's fights and felt that he was he could be had. That's why he's here. Well, Rosenblatt driving him off the mark so far, maybe surprising him to an extent with his power. Nice shot by Rosenblatt. Rosenblatt does set down on his punches nicely. And he's throwing some crisp combinations here in the early going. The left hand right there. A little swelling out of the right eye already of Sean Fitzgerald. That was good timing. And right now, Fitzgerald told us he would start out boxing, but he is fighting the way you don't fight a southpaw. If you go back to the conventional way. Very effective first round for Dana Rosenblatt. A good left hand right there. And a right hand. A lot of power being generated by Rosenblatt. Down goes Fitzgerald. He could get Fitzgerald out before Fitzgerald even gets into this fight. He has been very effective in this first round. And based on the way he was talking this morning, this is a real shock to Fitzgerald. Right hand by Fitzgerald got there, but he was a little off balance. Both men got there, Fitzgerald is down. And a late shot thrown in there as well by Rosenblatt. He could have been penalized there. He's not going to make it. And Dana Rosenblatt with an impressive first round knockout. We mentioned his knockout record at the beginning of the show. He pushed guys out early, and he basically got to Fitzgerald before Fitzgerald puts it into the fight. Some good strong combinations, excellent power in this fight by Rosenblatt. Very impressive performance for Dana Rosenblatt. We talked in the open about a guy who had to step up, and he has certainly done that tonight. This is really a very significant victory for him, and done in an impressive fashion, beating a guy who did not look bad against Roberto Duran. Yeah, that's a big win, and I'll tell you, I've seen Dana Rosenblatt fight on a few occasions. This is by far the best I've seen him perform. Well, he squares up. He's got excellent balance here in the right hand, starts the knockdown process here on Fitzgerald. He just tees off, he gets him behind the gloves, and Fitzgerald down. And pretty shocking. Second knockdown here as both fighters are opening up and an excellent left cross by Rosenblatt, and Fitzgerald feeling the effect of that punch on a delayed basis as well. He definitely hit him late, you pointed it out. He was on all fours when he hit him. Now there's the second knockdown. Here the referee has to be in the middle. Now that fight, that punch there did not decide and did not keep Fitzgerald down. However, it has to be addressed. Referees can't let fighters get away with that. That whole issue, in fact, has to be addressed. That's something that Al Bernstein's on a soapbox about. Happy face of a winner. Let's make it official with Michael Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen,